my channel my name is Colin and today we are at Hono so Hono is one of the islands on the north archipelago and our journey starts from the center of the city we took the bus from Bruins Park in till Penang and then a ferry This ferry is so huge that it fits a lot of cars and trucks. Also you have a sitting area when it gets cold outside. It was really windy and I think we all were feeling cold. This is our group Amit, Sheetal and Pritam, Bina and Ganesh and also we had Andre who joined It was really calm as well it felt really good to get out of the city and uh, go on to the islands This is one of the islands from the North Archipelago and also there's a famous bakery here but uh, we couldn't find it or at least the breads that are made from Hono are quite famous in Gothenburg. There are also other islands on the side. This one is Grotto and there's also an island called Foto. All the islands are really beautiful and past one week the weather was really bad and uh, we do check our weather apps and this was a Sunday, the Independence Day. So we thought probably we should get together and do something, just get out of the city because being bored in the house uh, when it rains, it's not the best thing to do. So we planned a island walk, but this walk turned into a hike and we but did we did uh, discover a lot of different places good viewpoints so you would get to see this so we are approaching the island now and you can see the big windmill you can see some factories around also you can see other ferries on the other side Amit has been complaining that it's really cold and he doesn't like it. <laughs> this is the ferry that we got back to Gothenburg on. If you see there are a lot of people visiting the island. Some of them live here. So they travel back to work and back to the island using this ferry the ferry ride is 12 minutes to the city so it's not a big thing to you know live on the island and go back to the city the winters are tough but uh, yeah the summers are really good to live on the island you can see all the cars leaving now It was a good walk through the city. You get to see a lot of uh, old houses. You get to see the old windmill, the marina. We generally plan our trips based on destinations. So we just go to places and then walk around the city or, or the town. And we get to discover new things. This is one of the paths through which we walk through and uh, this is this is mostly a place where people get their dogs for a quick swim because the water is quite shallow and also you can see people running in the forest uh, it's a good park path a good trekking or an hiking path
we also got some time to take some pictures around walking through this path it was really calm you will also see the locals taking a run there are multiple places where you can hold and have your maybe breakfast or your lunch and then we found one place that we liked so we just thought we would take a halt and have our breakfast this place was so beautiful and then we saw okay there was a really high point so we thought we should get on top of the mountain or the rock and maybe see what's up there and we really like the view if you see on the right that's the bridge connecting to photo and on the left is the ocean it's really beautiful during summers everyone wants to go and take a dip in the ocean because that's one of the tasks that you need to do or else uh, you do not enjoy the swedish summer after finishing our breakfast we decided to move on from this beautiful place and uh, then yes we started our hike again we walked through the rocks uh, and yeah and then we reached the high highway or you know the main road and kept walking till we reached the intersection so now the next destination was uh, the fish museum walking through the streets it's really it's really breathtaking i would say we have been walking for almost maybe 1 hour now and finally we got to see the ocean and uh, we this we were in two minds if we should take a dip or not but yeah it was a good idea the weather on this day was 15 degrees and uh, by the time we reached this point it went up to 18 degrees and the water was i think around 14 to 16 degrees and uh, i and pritham we both took a swim and initially it was really cold but we did manage i don't know why but swimming in the ocean always takes away the stress so if you do visit any of the islands do take a swim we then moved on to the next uh, place that we wanted to go from the time that we landed on the island it was the fish museum so when we started walking back Uh, we did reach the fish museum and you see there are a lot of cafes close to this place unfortunately it was sunday and the fish museum was closed but yeah we did manage to walk around this beautiful place there are good cafes as well that we got back to later you can also buy swim wear here this is bina she has lived on this island for 3 months So the establishment on the right that you see that is a fish house I would say
and the famous cafe tul tul fish can i think it is called uh, it's on the right and this is a fish museum from out but as it was sunday it was closed wish it was open we would get uh, we would get to see some interesting things we then started searching for a place to stop and eat something i was really happy that it was sunny and we got a chance to grab coffee and some tikka so this was the cafe that we got to we also got to see a church on our way back it's a really old church and on our way back we did find some berries we found apples pears just growing on the street uh, unfortunately i couldn't film it and this was our day this was our trip on hono we hiked we had a breakfast we swam and we got back uh, i hope you liked the video please if you like it do like share and subscribe and i would say do suggest your friends to visit this place thanks for watching bye hello